let's take a look at sale prices and how to find the original price. A music store is selling CDs at the discounted price of $3. What was the original price of a CD? Okay, and notice they're telling us we're paying 75% off the original price. Okay, so if this is the amount that we're saving, right, we're taking 75% off, I like to say, well, what percent of that price are we actually paying? So remember, a total is always 100%. So 100% or the whole thing minus 75%, what we're saving for the sales, is equal to 25%. So we're paying 25%, okay? 25% is what we're paying. The other 75% is what we're taking off or saving, okay? So when we set this up, Essentially, what we want to figure out, well, we're paying 25% of the original price and we're paying $3. So essentially, we want to say 25% of what number, right, of what original price is $3. So there's a few different ways we can figure this out. We could use an equation, right? We could say 0.25 times the number we don't know is x equals $3 and solve if we like using our decimal version of percents. Or we could set up a proportion. I like using proportions here. So when we set up a proportion, we're saying a ratio is equal to a ratio. And we want to make sure that we always set them up so that they correspond. Whatever we do on the left, we want to use the same general setup on the right. So let's do the percentage. 25% means 25 out of 100. Okay, so notice the 25 is what we actually paid. We paid 25% of the sale price. So um, next to that, on the top, I'm going to put $3, right? Because we paid $3. So that's the smaller amount we actually paid when it was on sale. And what we don't know is what was the original price, which would be the 100%. So that's going to line up with the 100% since it's the bigger number or before the sale price. Now, to solve a proportion, when you have a fraction equal to a fraction, this is when you cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply the numbers across from each other. 25 is across from x. That's going to give me 25x. And 100 is across from 3. So 3 times 100 is going to give me 300. And now to solve for x, x is being multiplied by 25. So I'm going to divide by 25 on both sides. Okay, and 300 divided by 25 gives me 12. So the original price was $12. Now this should make sense, 25% is a quarter. So a quarter of 12 or 25% of 12 would be $3. So always do that, does it make sense, double check. A landscaper can buy sod at a discounted price from the local hardware store. What is the original price? Okay, and he paid 50% off. Well, if he saved 50%, remember 100 minus 50 is 50, so that means he's paying half price or he's paying 50% of the original price. Okay, so we basically want to figure out $7.00 is 50% of what number? Okay, well if you set this up, 50% is 50 out of 100. 
$7 was his sale price, so that's gonna go on top right across from the 50, right? The sale, the percentage he paid and the sale price are on the top. The whole thing that we're trying to find would be X, we're gonna put that across from our 100. And when we cross multiply, X times 50 is 50X. Seven times 100 is 700. And then to solve for X, I'm gonna divide by 50 on both sides. And that's gonna give me 14. Now, you might have been able to do this one using a little bit of mental math too, if you said seven is 50% of what number? Well, seven is half of what? Well, seven times two is 14, right? $7 is half or 50% of 14. A furniture store is having a sale. If Mia bought a sofa for the sale price of $12, what was the original price of the sofa? And she paid 20% off of the original price. Okay, so she took 20% off. Well, the original price would have been 100%. So 100% minus 20%, right? 100 minus 20 leaves us with 80. So she paid 80%. Okay, so if she paid 80% and she paid $12, we basically want to say $12 is 80% of what number? Okay, so notice when you set up these fractions, in our proportion, it's always the part out of the whole equals the percent out of 100. So she paid $12 out of some whole price, and that is equal to 80% or 80 out of 100. Okay, and then we cross multiply. 80 times x is 80x. 12 times 100 is 1200. and then divide by 80 on both sides. And we get 15. Okay, so the original price was $15. Connor buys enough candy at the candy store that he gets a discount. If Connor bought a bag of gummy bears for $2, what was the original price of the bag of gummy bears? Okay, and he takes 60% off the original price. Okay, so he gets a pretty good sale price. So if he takes 60% off, well, 100 minus 60, that means that he pays 40%. So if he pays 40%, we want to say $2 that he pays is 40% of what number? Okay, and the way that we set this up is the percentage out of 100 equals a part out of the whole, or you could put that on the other side, the part out of the whole equals the percentage out of 100. So the part that he paid was $2, right? That's his sale price out of the whole price, which we don't know. And that's equal to the percentage that he paid. He paid 40% out of 100. To cross multiply, two times 100 is 200. 40 times X gives us 40X. And then we can divide by 40 on both sides to solve for X. Okay, and we get five is equal to X. So the original price was $5.